everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to thank everyone for being a subscriber to my channel as I have recently hit 200 subscribers and I'm at 205 right now but I want to thank everybody and to show my gratitude I'm going to be using my Sub Commander gratitude today for you on this shave video and also a new razor that I have purchased and that my friends is called the um, Carve Razor. It's the Christopher Bradley by Carve Shaving Company, made in Canada, and I'm going to be using the um, the B open comb plate. And when you open up these boxes, it comes with all these little papers. You got your little sticker here. You got a card showing the little um, base plate protection right there. Yeah, the bl the uh, black plastic washer. That comes with it to help prevent brass on brass rubbing general care of your brass as well as the thank you so much for supporting our small business you're awesome chris and yes this is what it looks like in the packaging i know i'm late to the party but this is my first carve or carve razor it comes in this really nice pack and you have options to put other base plates that you purchase in these little slots right here I got the B open comb, and I've also got the C open comb, but I don't have it in here right now. But yeah, you unscrew this, and it comes with the little uh, washer, the plastic washer that comes with it. They put between here, so you prevent any um, scratching or any corrosion on the brass or any rubbing. Yeah, made in Canada. I don't know if you can all see that very good. There it is. Yeah, the B open comb plate. And the head that comes with it, how it has that little curve right there on the sides that helps you um, grab your, um, the sides of your blade, the overhang, I should say. Yeah, it's a three piece razor, non adjustable open comb plate. There are options for closed comb plates stainless steel plates and handles and caps and all that as well as well as more options from razor emporium but yeah stuck a little bit of what do you call it oil in between the the threading i'm gonna set that aside but that's the car of razor the Christopher Bradley 3.5 inch handle and it has a very good weight to it by the way a very good weight it's very well balanced and it's a bead blasted um, brass you know bead blasted pure brass so you can let it sit and patina if you want to give it a more natural look <clears throat> yeah, the open comb B plate should feel more like the um, closed comb C plate because they go up one aggressiveness from the open combs because the open comb has more um, exposure to the blade. And the soap I'll be using is the Gratitude by Soap Commander. The cedar and saffron has a very nice spicy scent to it. Lower on the cedar and more on the saffron. So there's more spice to the scent. I probably just repeated myself, but hey, it's good to know, right? And the star jelly I'll be using today will be my Cider House 5 by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Now this is an aftershave star jelly, so that doubles as the aftershave and the balm. A very quickly absorbing balm, so it won't feel greasy on the skin. So let's put on the pre-shave. I'm going to be using the, um, the Glow Cube by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um... Don't be alarmed. I'm going to turn the light off for just a second and show you the glow in the dark cube. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, no lights on in the bathroom. Yeah, it's the all glow in the dark cube. Still available from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements during the fall season. Yeah, you can see it back here. Parts of it get more light because I had it facing a certain direction. But yeah. 
it all glows in the dark just like the uh, two soaps they sell as well I've got the brush soaking in the skull I got my bore my pure bore brush from EB lathe works pre-coin by the way it's got like a copper and turquoise handle with a little white in the sides so I'll have her soaking for a moment mm -hmm. now let's put on the uh, the glow cube real quick I'm gonna wet the face a little more now let's put her on shall we so I hope everyone's doing great has a great shave plan or has had a good shave all right I'm gonna use a bowl today see I do a lot of um, faucet usage during the shave so today I'm gonna try to use a bowl to catch all my on my whiskers and rinse off the razor all right put on the glow cube and again I really want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel I highly appreciate this very much guys I'm at 205 right now and I'm just looking very forward to seeing it grow more and more and really appreciate everybody for uh, watching and subscribing now I just flicked it off for three I did about three or four flicks here I'm gonna open up the soap here let the pre-shave sit for a moment all right just kind of go on the face lather today guys doesn't take much to gather just a little soap from the brush all right that's probably good just as just as I'm doing this I get a lot of spicy scent a lot of saffron so yeah they're really low on the cedar but hey it uh it helps it helps make the scent what it is And in the razor I'm going to use today, I'm going to be I'm going to put in a crystal blade in the carved razor in the B open comb plate. And I right hear it's a very efficient razor. There'll be a medium aggressiveness. But with the carve or with the excuse me, with the crystal blade It will be a more aggressive shave than a medium. All right, now let's load this blade up. Okay. Yeah, I got the mineral oil in the razor in between the threads just to help with the uh, friction. That's all it is. And help with prolonging its life better. All right, let me put this down so I can get my blade out. <clears throat> Trying to handle this razor without dropping it. Okay, where did I put that blade, guys? I had it in here. Hold on, let me see if I put it out here. Can anybody tell me where my blade is? <laughs> Let's see here. Hold on, let me let me just pause for one second, guys. All right, guys, we're back. I found it. All right. The crystal blades have no markings whatsoever that indicate they are crystal blades. It just says Super Plus Platinum. Now I'm going to put it on the top cap. I'm going to put on my base plate, the B open comb. Or I'm going to hold the sides like this. There we go. Get the get those two dots lined up on the other side. Put your little threading in there. Do not forget that. And do not lose that, by the way. Keep a very strong eye on that thread. Or on that uh on that piece. No. 
This is what it's like when the blade's loaded. Has a minor overhang, not too bad. Blade exposure is pretty good. Very smooth open combs as well. Excellent knurling, not too sharp, but just enough to get a grip and an excellent weight. Really well balanced, guys. All right. Let's, let me uh, wet the, uh, um, let me work this lather just for a second and get it, kind of refresh it after I had to look for that blade. It only took me like less than a minute to find it. I wanted to fix the lather so it doesn't dry out. Okay. Right, got the blade and the razor. Let's get the first pass going here with the grain. Very nice. Feels like she's cutting pretty good. Has a bite to it for sure. Right, rinse it off in that water. Get your sideburns lined up. Kind of reminds me of how my Mula R41 shaves. But it's not quite as sharp as that razor. But the crystal blade is um, in lines with the cayenne feather. I bet um, the crystal is actually a little duller. Not duller, but not as sharp as the uh, Kai. It even gets my trouble spot pretty good, too. Because usually I can't get the lather off of this section right here. What's a bee open comb? That's pretty good. And this was two days growth, so. Hold on, let me shut the store, guys. All right. Maybe that'll catch my feedback a lot easier. All right, just a little more here. And this is a first time use of this razor. So to me, um, like I said, it's, it reminds me a lot of my Mula R41. I don't have it in here at the moment, but it's a more mild version of that razor with the open comb. And with these open comb razors, you kind of have to run more on the uh, top cap portion of the razor because of the blade exposure, the way it works. Especially like um, with the double open comb copper ascension razor. The way the blade is exposed, you have to ride more on the top cap to catch the blade. <clears throat> All right, I just want to make sure I got this right. And with these, um, they're good for um, longer beards and for cutting more facial hair at the same time. So if you go like, say, three or four days every week with no shaving, this is definitely good for longer growth, like any open comb razor is. All right, that's good. I'm going to rinse off and I'll be right back for the second pass, so don't go away. Alright guys, we are back and rinsed off, and we're going to be ready for pass number two here. Let me get my brush. Alright. Let's 
So far, I'm deeply impressed with this carb razor. It's a, between a very efficient and very mild at the same time. It doesn't feel too aggressive, but yet it feels like it cuts those hard spots on your face. Let me uh, add just a bit of water here from my um, bowl. Okay. Oh, and I'm also going to be working on doing a giveaway for the 200 subscriber um, so celebration. I have something that should be ready to give away. I just need to uh, do a separate video very soon, and I will show everybody what I've got. Now, it's not going to be the newest thing in the game, but it'll be something that, that'll still be nice. So... Yeah, it's not going to be anything brand new. Yeah, I feel those open combs still grabbing whiskers. And it's a very smooth razor. Very efficient. Now I'm really looking forward to trying that C plate. <laughs> so I feel like that's going to be a very efficient blade or a very efficient base plate compared to this one. I just felt it was better to start with the mild one first. And then I could give my take on the more aggressive one. Well, for some of you that don't know why I have my uh, goatee, it's for a uh, Movember. M-O-V Ember. Movember. It's mainly for cancer awareness and um, to grow out our beards and mustaches. And um, this is my second year partaking in that on YouTube. Or second year in general. I did it last year when I kind of started the channel. So I've only had the channel for like... More than a year. Yeah, even with this blade, it still feels somewhat mild in certain places. But with this hair as coarse as mine, it's always hard to get a, a complete BBS unless I do like a three pass and a touch up. And I always have to get a better hang of my um, angle on these razors. But it's smooth. It's a very smooth razor. But don't say I'm not going to get a burn because I will get a burn. All right, excellent shave, guys. Um, my impressions on this are very excellent, very smooth, very efficient. Feels like less of blade, ex less blade exposure, but in, in fact, you're actually getting a little more with this. So, I again, I, I'm impressed with it. I love how smooth it feels. It's not like a scratch in your skin. It's got smooth forks on it, so that I really do like. <clears throat> so, right. I'm going to rinse off and I'll be back for the post shave guys so don't go away alright I'm back for the post shave and this will be all I use the Cider House 5 Star Jelly Aftershave now I believe one pump maybe a pump and a half should be good enough so let's try let's try this
Yeah, one pump should be plenty. Hmm. Oh yeah, you can smell that mold cider scent. Let's see what kind of burn I get out of this. It takes me a moment to get a burn. Mmm. Yeah, mold cider. Here comes the cool effect. Mmm. Very refreshing. You get what I'm getting is um yeah the mold cider and um, dry leaves. Yeah, there's a scent of dried leaf in it or leaves in this. Um, they say there's pipe smoke in it too. Yeah, I get a tad bit of it. But overall, mold cider takes over the scent pretty good. As well as this menthol they put in the uh, star jellies. Now, that's all of them, not just certain ones. Mm. But yeah, nonetheless, very refreshing shave, guys. <sighs> Couldn't thank everyone enough for this. Um, again, I'm going to try to do a giveaway. Um, this will be the first ever giveaway on this channel. And again, I am in deep gratitude for everybody um, for um, being a part of this channel. So, um, again, guys, I appreciate all of your subscriptions. And um, I'm not sure when I'll get that video out. But when I do, I'll try to give instructions on how the giveaway is going to work. And where it's going to ship and everything. So, um, again, guys, appreciate you all very much. And again, keep on just keep on tuning in. And I appreciate everybody. And I want to remind you, like and comment, subscribe, like and comment below and hit that subscribe button. And again, I appreciate everybody for watching. So um, I'll see you all real soon and you all have a great day.